Welcome to the 3D Junkie uh, training course, the character design for games using ZBrush and Maya. This course is going to cover the the actual pipeline used um, to create a games character using ZBrush and Maya, the latest version, ZBrush 4 and Maya 2011. We'll be covering the actual supply of a uh, concept or illustration to you and how we start to model the character using z-spheres then we'll move into the basic sculpting or the moving of the base mesh and then we'll subdivide and start to put in more and more detail we'll also cover doing uh, customized brushes and we will also cover use doing 3d um, doing UV layouts and poly painting uh, painting our model we're out, but we'll also be outputting all our textures and our model and importing into Maya 2011 where I will show you how to apply normal maps and displacement maps and basically get the character ready to, for output for the rigger or the animator to take it to the next stage. As a little bonus I've also shown a quick thing on how to bind a skeleton um, onto the actual model and look at the way that it deforms and I've also um, covered the displacement map in a bit more detail so I hope you enjoy this course um, hopefully you'll register at uh, www.3djunkie.net to find out more information I'm now going to quickly show you the ZBrush model that we will be working with and this is the model of the base mesh that has been retopologized and I turn that off and taking it through the levels until we get to the finished sculpting stage which is at level 7. This model at this point contains about 7, uh, seven million polygons and I'll show you it's colorized And so there we go, we can see the model and see all the detail. All of these little um, extra bits have been put in there using the custom brushes that you will be using. And so this is the character that we're actually going to design. So if you like it, follow these videos and I'll show you how it's done. 